Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to rank up super fast in Ninja Legends. So, I have a whole bunch of tips, so make sure to subscribe if you didn't yet. And check out all the other stuff in the description. Also, there's a Ninja Legends Discord server that will be linked in the description also. So if you have Discord, then make sure to join that. Because it's the best Ninja Legends Discord server right now. It has a whole bunch of channels for trading and a whole bunch of other stuff so just make sure to join that if you have discord but yeah let's get into the tips so first thing most important thing to getting ranks fast is you have to always try to get the best pets now it takes way too long to open it yourself so i recommend just trading but it's pretty easy to trade but if you want to do the pets crafting and all of that stuff yourself, I recommend to do the PvP arena a lot so that you can get a whole bunch of gems. And then with all those gems, you can open up a whole bunch of the gem eggs. And it's really easy to get gems. I got my 100,000 gems in just like 10 or 20 minutes. So I don't know why they're charging so much for it. But anyways, the gem egg is right here, and they're gonna remove the egg. I'm not sure if they're gonna remove gems also with it, but I know that they're gonna remove the egg at some point. But I have a full team of unleashed sub-zero dragons, which are elemental. I forgot to equip them, but they're really good. But... Yeah, so, this is the best egg to open, just open the, or best crystal to open, so just open that one a whole bunch. PvP arenas are not really, uh, like, they're scaled so that it's equal for everyone, so you can get gems super easily, and then get those pets, and then just craft them, so you can get really, really overpowered by farming and the gems because it gives like 50 or i meant farming the gems farming in the arena that's that makes more sense but yeah you get 50 gems for participating and like a hundred for a kill and like three thousand for winning or like a thousand for a kill i think so yeah you can get so much but next tip is if you're buying the next sword, then if it takes over two minutes, then you should just farm for the next rank because it will take way too long. And if you're farming the next DNA, then just get it so that your DNA doesn't get full. If it takes five minutes or shorter for it to get full, then just farm until you have a better DNA. But next tip is really important. So, make sure to use training areas. There is a chest that's pretty high up. I'll show you guys it right now. So, this chest gives you karma, which is really, really important. Because it it just... You can unlock a whole skill trees upgrade with it and get up to 15 times ninjutsu per click. So, that is super super overpowered i think it was this island not exactly sure yeah it was this island and i'm gonna claim the bad karma because i'm being the evil guy okay we just gotta go over to this chest and then it will give you a whole bunch of karma and then you just collect it and then you have a lot so yeah th that's really overpowered and the last island gives gems but not that many so it's not too useful but it still can be pretty useful and then most of them just give a whole bunch of chi but i have 22 trillion chi so i can basically get any new shurikens that come out which is pretty good but i'm gonna go back to the spawn next tip i have is buying the shurikens because they I don't think they scaled them right, they still do give a little bit of a bonus, but they scale them before your rank boost is scaled, so it's kind of weird, it doesn't really benefit you that much, 
but you can get up to 30 times in Jitsu, it would be cool if it actually worked though, it just gives you like plus 30 times to your rank boost. Which can be really good if you're a lower rank, but it doesn't really help many people that are higher ranks. Like, let me just show you for example, so almost 4 OC, and then if I equip the that one, then it is 3.89 OC. And 3.89 OC. So yeah, it actually gives me no bonus at all. Because I already have a 15,000 rank boost. So it's just 15,030 times. But hopefully they fix that soon. So that it actually gives people a bonus. Because it's pretty annoying. Because it says times 30. But it's actually not times anything at all. But the next tip is... Whenever you're clicking, don't just click a whole bunch while you're on an island, unless if, like, you're planning to get the rank while you're on that island. Like, for example, if this island had all of the swords that I w wasn't able to get because they were so expensive, and I was, like, one of the middle ranks or something, and I guess farming on this island would be okay to get one of the higher ranks. But, if you're still trying to get to the next island, don't just click a whole bunch while you're on the island that has swords that you can get easily. Keep going up while you're clicking, so that not only will you have a whole bunch of coins, but then you're also at the next island, which is pretty useful. But also it can be annoying, because sometimes whenever you land on clouds, then it just doesn't reset your double jumps, and I've fallen so many times due to that. But, next thing is, if you're wanting to get Chi to open pets, if you've decided that you want to craft your own pets, and not trade, which I still really, really recommend trading, because trading is the most useful thing to get pets, but if you really want to, then the boss actually isn't good for Chi, really. Like, the Frozen Santa boss, or whatever it was called, I don't know what it's called. It only gives, like, a few trillion after farming it for a pretty long time. But then, instead, if you go over to one of the island's chests, it gives you about the same amount of chi, but it gives you to it instantly, so just open chests instead of farming the bosses. Maybe if they add a new boss again that has way more times, then it will be useful, but chests are way better for getting chi, and also chests can give karma, souls, and a whole bunch of other stuff, so chests are actually probably the most useful thing in the game. But, yeah, I think I think that is all of the tips I have. Just one more tip though, make sure to use the common sense on the game. Don't, like, equip something lower for no reason at all. Just, like, a lot of it is just common sense. Also, actually, one last tip. Don't fight anyone outside of the duel arena, because it's completely useless. It gives you a little bit of karma, but it only gives you like 3 or 4 when you can get like 800 from the chest. So, don't waste your time fighting people outside of the arena. Just fight people inside of the arena. And to get karma, use the chest because it's, it's just way better. But yeah, that is all of the tips, or those are all of the tips I have. So... Yeah, I guess, quick shout out to all my channel members, if you want to see your name on this list, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button, and your name will be on this list next video, so shout out to all of them, and I hope this video was pretty helpful, again, if you have Discord, make sure to join the Discord server linked in the description, because it's the best Ninja Legends Discord server, and trust me, you won't regret it. But yeah, shout out to them, and 
Hope this video helped. Make sure to like if it did, and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, YouTube.